Yo, what's up guys? Last Burst here, and today we're going to battle Orb Aegis versus all the Chozibes. Now, I literally had to go on Google to find out the pronunciation for this Beyblade, and it's called Orb Aegis, not Orb Aegis or Orb Aegis or whatever. It's Aegis, guys. Aegis. Say it with me. Aegis. And yeah, I mean, a lot of comments were telling me how to say it, but like a lot of comments were wrong too. So let, let's just get that clear. Orb Aegis. At least that's what Google says. I don't know. Google, uh, Google's always right, right? Anyway, so yeah, we're going to be battling Orb Aegis against all the Chozibes. Now, I usually don't do battles like this. I don't really don't really like doing like one day versus like a billion Beyblades like this mostly because a lot of other VTubers do this, but I figured um, I got Orb Aegis a bit earlier than all the other VTubers. I'm one of the first American VTubers to get it at least. So I was like, hey, I kind of want to show you guys how it works and test it against other Beyblades. And I also want to see uh, how good it is because I really haven't tested it that much. Anyway, so uh, yeah, the combo I'm going to be using for Orb Aegis is Orb Aegis. Zero. Friction. Now I'm using this combo not because I think it's probably gonna be the stop combo because honestly They're probably gonna add new parts for this Beyblade But mostly just because I I really like the zero disc because it's really heavy and I kind of want to see how friction does on other Beyblades that aren't um, Revive things because I haven't really tested it out with other Beyblades. So yeah, that's the combo we're gonna be using I should introduce every single one of the Chozy Bays, but that's gonna take way too long So I'm not gonna do that. Oh my gosh guys look how many Chozy Bays we have right now like two months ago Like it was half of these Bays. Well, when, when did all these Bays just start appearing? They just are like duplicating. Anyways, so yeah, let's get this battle started. I guess we'll go from like oldest to newest. So let's start with winning Valkyrie. Uh, what I've seen, Orb Aegis, or my battles, Orb Aegis is a solid Beyblade. As forgettable as it may be, it's a solid Beyblade. Also, you guys are telling me that Orb Aegis is like a Kraken or something like from Splatoon, and that's just epic. So yeah, let's get this battle started. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. There's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And there's winning Valkyrie, not wanting to go off my launcher. It wasn't me that time, it was my launcher. All right, let's try that again. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just not a good babe later, guys. Three, two, one, shoot. All right, there's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go. shoot. All right, there's winning Valkyrie. Come on. Okay. Orb Aegis was able to take some hits from winning Valkyrie. Again, overall, Orb Aegis, just like the shape and like its teeth. Like when I first saw it, I didn't think the teeth were that impressive, but actually the teeth aren't that bad. Like compared to like, Archer Hercules, they're like around Archer Hercules teeth, and Archer Hercules has pretty good teeth. So yeah, let's do uh, one more battle between these two, three, two, two. I guess I'll do two battles for every Chosy Day. All right, just get destroyed, Winning Valkyrie. You're not winning against this one. I mean, in the anime, Winning Valkyrie just demolished, because for some reason, the Chosetsu anime, Valkyrie's, or, uh, Vault and Valkyrie are just so overpowered. I don't even know how. They, they were just like, you know how they're, they're just strong for no reason. I don't even think Vault trained. I mean, God Series, he trained a little bit, but I feel like he'd even train after God Series. And before God Series, he was just kind of gifted with power. Like, the first season, he was just a genius blader. Anyway, so yeah, moving on to the next one. Uh, the next beta view release, let's do Z Achilles. And do you like those flame stickers I put on Z Achilles? Really add some, like, attitude or whatever. And we're going to be using the Zeta Plus driver. I'm gonna put it on attack mode just because that's that's the best mode in my opinion. It's just awesome. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, there's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go shoot. There is. Well, there goes the Achilles. Come on, Orb Aegis is such a powerful Beyblade. It literally just pushes all the Beyblades out of the stadium. Three, two, one, shoot. All right, Orb Aegis again. Three, two, one, shoot. You know what, should I do one more battle between these two? Because Orb Aegis, he's just, he's just a boss. He's just throwing his Achilles around. Like, Achilles can't even get one hit. We're gonna do one more battle between these two. Because, like, the last two, again, kind of anti climax well, that one was anticlimactic too. Come on, Z Achilles. You gotta be better than this. You're the main character. You can't be losing to like these side characters like Orb Aegis, right? Three, two, two. All right, Z Achilles, beat him, please. All right, are you gonna burst him or are you just gonna die? I think he's just gonna die. Dang, he, Orb Aegis hasn't bursted once. I swear, if I'm actually pronouncing Orb Aegis wrong, because I keep saying its name, a bunch of people are probably getting triggered in the comment section. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Uh, the next bay to be released, we have... Um, What's this Beyblade called? Emperor Fornius. Now, I was tempted to put the Yard Driver on Orb Aegis, because that's just what, well, like, when you think of stock combo Orb Aegis, for some reason, I just think Yard. But at the same time, I really don't like the Yard Driver, so I didn't really want, really want to use it. So we're using the Friction Driver. So yeah, let's get this battle started. Three, two, one, go shoot. How is Orb Aegis gonna do against Babuki? Three, two, one, go shoot. Now it's a miss one, but it looks like Babuki jumped out of the stadium anyway, because it just sucks. All right, we're gonna do that battle one more time, or one more battle between these guys. Three, two, one, go shoot. There's Orb Aegis, three, two, one, shoot. All right, there's 
Oh my gosh, this Beyblade makes me grr. No, I don't know. Is it just me or is the uh, yard driver just like not that good? Like, I just don't like it. Like, the yard driver, it's just a new. Did I call the yard driver like Planet or something a few seconds ago? I'm stupid. It's like the middle of the night. I'm recording a Beyblade video. I still have to do my history homework. And it's just, I don't know. It's not good, guys. It's not looking good for Noah. Anyway, so yeah, it looks like Orb E just did win that battle. Moving on to the next day. What day was released after that? I think it was like uh, these two, right? It was Crash Ragnarok and Bloody Long and Noose. Let's do Crash Ragnarok first. See if it can be a stamina type. There's one go shoot. Now, obviously, I'm gonna launch Crash Ragnarok first because, like, oh, wait, that was kind of a snipe. All right, so I'm gonna launch Crash Ragnarok first just because it's a stamina type. And according to the definition of stamina, it should have more stamina than a defense type and should last longer than a defense type. But usually, that doesn't even happen because stamina types aren't really stamina types unless you have, like, a super OP driver like Archer Hercules. This Beyblade is so OP guys oh my gosh it's literally like the most broken Beyblade I've ever seen it's so broken it's like more broken than freaking Rectrum from certain perspective it's just so good Archer Hercules did you just beat a stamina type oh my gosh Orb Aegis it's actually a solid bay it's such a good bay alright there you go alright there you go you know what I'm gonna do one more battle between these two after this I'm gonna launch Orb Aegis first just to see if he can beat it launch first. Probably not, but like, we'll see. Okay, intense battle, you know, stamina types, defense types, they always make the best battles. And it looks like he bursted uh, Crash Ragnarok. All right, sweet. Crash Ragnarok, a pretty burstable bay, actually. Like, I feel like it bursts against everything. All right, we're gonna do that battle one more time. Except, except I'm gonna launch Orb Aegis first. Two, two, two. All right, there's Orb Aegis. And there's Ragnarok. All right, Ragnarok acting like an attack type. All right, you're a stamina type. Chill out there. All right. Just solid hits. Do you, do you, do you hear that sound, guys? That sound is Beyblades in their natural habitat. Just click, click, clack, clack. All right, who's going to win this battle? All right, the winner is... It, well, it still won. Oh, my God. This Beyblade's just OP. It has stamina and defense. It can also go and attack. This thing is just... Oh, my God. This thing's actually really good. All right, we're going to try against Bloody Longinus next. Three, two, and go shoot. Or Bloody Longinus. Is it going to win? Probably not. Probably going to... I mean, uh, Orb Aegis is going to win. Longinus. I have no faith in Longinus. Longinus against any right spin day. Just not good. Just not, in my opinion, at least. Because you know, uh, left spins, even though it doesn't have rubber, it'll still slightly steal spin from right spin days, and it's kind of like the opposite. So, uh, the right spin's gonna kind of steal spin from longness, because it's absorbing its attacks, and because longness has a rubber tip, it's never gonna win in that, uh, spin steal competition. It just always loses. Does that make any sense? Probably not, but we're gonna keep on going with it. Three, two, and go shoot. There's Orb Aegis. What makes Orb Aegis so cute? Yeah, oh, he, he jumped back in the stadium. He was like, I'm not done yet, guys. I'm not done. He pocket hopped in a Takeratomi stadium, guys. That's amazing. As you can see, Bloody Longness is stealing a bit of Orb Aegis' spin right there. But in the end, it's going to lose because it has a rubber driver. All right, let's just look at Orb Aegis' shape. Do you see that? It's kind of like a dome. It's actually such a nice shape. And it's metal. It metal. It's metal kind of comes into contact. Like, it's pretty out there. All right, moving on to the next Beyblade. What Beyblade was released next? It was like... Uh, Hockey Six Salamander, and I, I don't remember. I think it was like Hockey Six Salamander. Did these all release at the same time? That's a lot of Beyblades. I feel like Salamander and Vice Leopard released. No, no, no. Vice Leopard did not release at the same time. It was like, I think Salamander just released by itself. It was just a mega goof. All right, well, we're doing Salamander then. Oh, wait, no, no. I think it was Salamander, and then Hazard Kirbyus came out with Salamander too. I think, I think that's what happened. Yeah, and then we got a re-release of Hazard Kirbyus. We're gonna do the Hazard Kirbyus battle later. All right, so we're gonna do Salamander on defense mode first, and then we'll do a battle on attack mode and see what's up. All right, defense mode, three, two, one. Wait, this is attack mode for the layer. I guess I gotta change both of them. Does the layer even matter for, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Salamander. I feel like the layer doesn't even matter. Like, it can be on attack mode, defense mode, it literally does nothing. All right, defense mode it is, 3, 2, one, two. All right, there's Salamander on defense mode. Three, two, one, two. Oh my god, he doesn't want to stay on the launcher. All right, three, two, one, two. That was a total snipe, I don't even know what I was doing there. All right, we're gonna redo that battle. Three, two, one, go, shoot. All right, there's Salamander. 
Switch one to I think it switched to attack mode. Why are Beyblades like why do why does it always do that? It always switches to attack mode. Three, two, one, two. All right, there's Salamander finally, and there's uh Orb Aegis finally. Orb Aegis is such a solid Beyblade. I mean, it's got it's a chosen ability. It does nothing, but at least it's a little better than Beyblades like uh Longness, like Blade Longness. Like winning Valkyrie, who literally do nothing. Their god ability is that they have, or their chosen ability is that they have metal. But when every single chosen ability has metal, and you have awesome gimmicks like Geist Factor, like it just doesn't stand up. Look like, looks like, um, uh, what you call it, um. Salamander is gonna win that battle in defense mode. We're gonna move to attack mode now. Three, two, one, go shoot. I mean, it does. It did win the spin steal, so three, two, one, shoot. Salamander is actually really good at stealing spin. Believe it or not, even though it's not like a drain factor, it's a geist factor. It's actually a pretty good thing at spin steal. Again, all base can spin steal as long as one go one's going right and one's going left. It's just how science works. It's not that it has rubber. Rubber has nothing to do with uh, spin stealing capabilities. Anyway, so yeah, on attack mode, Salamander is just a goof. It kind of just sucks. Anyway, moving on to the next phase. Let's do it against Vice Leopard next, see how it does. Three. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. My launcher got, like, knotted up. Uh, that, that's very unfortunate. I should probably try to unknot it, but, like, uh, it's probably gonna take up a while of the video, so, like, I don't know. Uh, unknot, stupid launcher. This, this makes me grr, like no other grrs, you know? Anyway, so, yeah, while I'm unknotting this, let's talk about something. Beyblades, right? Yeah, you came here for Beyblades, and, uh, this is, this is a Beyblade channel and stuff. All right, I unknot it. All right, ready? Three. Two, one, go shoot! All right, there is Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go shoot! And there is Vice Leopard. Vice Leopard, another booty Chozy Bay. Yo, I should totally rank the Chozy Bays based on like competitiveness or whatever, competitability, whatever. I, I don't know how to say it. I, I don't know vocabulary. I'm in school. I have all A's, but like I, I just can't do stuff. Like my brain, it just doesn't work on camera. Like I might be an intellectual off camera, but on camera, I just take my brain and I chuck it across the room. Like it's just not there anymore. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Whoa, that was sick, even though it was a sniper. You're gonna do that battle one more time. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Oh, yeah, also, uh, while the battle's going on, I actually broke my, uh, ex um, Extreme Dash, which is really sad because Extreme Dash was one of my favorite drivers and I broke it If you guys want to see how I broke it, I might make a video about it in the future But yeah, for now, just know that it broke so I'm gonna be using this Extreme instead of just normal Extreme Anyway, it looks like Orb Aegis just totally demolishes Vice Leopard Moving on to the next battle, let's do it against Archer Hercules Orb Aegis, you're a good Beyblade, are you gonna be Archer Hercules? Probably not, because you're, I mean, you're good Orb Aegis you're not that good. This is the pinnacle of Beyblades right here. Its stock combo is actually like super OP. The eternal driver on Archer Hercules is just amazing. Archer Hercules has amazing stamina, and yeah, it's gonna win. And the 13 driver or the 13 disc is actually decently heavy. So yeah, three, two, one, go. Shoot. All right, there it is. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And like, I feel like just the weight distribution on Archer Hercules is just so awesome. It's like literally the best Beyblade stop combo in my opinion. It has an amazing stop combo. Stop combo is high tier, guys. All right, let's see who's gonna win this battle. Probably Archer Hercules. Yeah, looks like Archer Hercules just totally demolished. No, I mean, you're good. Now let's go to this Beyblade. This Beyblade is very OP. Moving on to the next one. We got another decently OP Beyblade. Um, probably the only stop combo I've seen beat Archer Hercules, we have Revive Phoenix, at least not consistently in my opinion. It doesn't beat uh, Archer Hercules that consistently. So yeah, three, two, one. I'm gonna launch this guy first. Oh yeah, they're both defense types. Don't you think that's kinda weird how uh, Revive Phoenix is a defense type? Is it just me that thinks that? I just don't, this doesn't look like a defense type. It just doesn't. That's not a defense type. That looks like an attack type or like a balance type. That, you, you not a defense type. Uh -uh, I don't believe it. All right, apparently I'm gonna leave the ring in the battle even though it's very distracting. All right, so the winner is, um, whatchamacallit, Orb Aegis. So yeah, again, I always get comments saying, why do you take the ring out of the battle? It's supposed to be like an obstacle or something. It's so distracting and it's just, it's just grr. It makes me so mad. It's like, it's just sitting there. I'm just like, I can take it out. I can take it out, but the comments would get so mad at me because apparently it's supposed to be like an obstacle or something. So yeah, it's just annoying to see in battle, guys. I'm sorry. It's like my pet peeve. Like if you see, just like, if, okay, think about it, guys. If there's like just a bunch of like, um, uh, 
tennis balls, all right? And they're all green. And then there's just one red tennis ball. Don't you just want to take that one red tennis ball out to make the picture look so much better? To make, just to, just so your eyes feel better about themselves, you know? Anyway, let's do one more battle between these two. Three, two, and go. All right, three, two, one, go. So overall, my opinions on Orb Ages, it's actually like a really awesome layer. Like it defeated a solid number of Beyblades. I think the only Beyblades it lost to was uh, Salamander, and that's mo it only lost to Salamander just because Salamander has more uh, spin steel or whatever, and it has more life after death, and it has like a better driver for that. So if you put something like, I don't know, like uh, a polished disc, or like the proof frame, or atomic, or um, that that looked like a tie to me, or atomic, or something like bearing on this Beyblade. I feel like it can beat Salamander. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Let's do it against uh, Hazard Kirby. It's Hazard Kirby is actually one of my favorite Chosie layers. I just think it's it's an awesome Beyblade. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, and another reason uh, I didn't put atomic on. Uh, what's oh my gosh, just get destroyed, Hazard Kirby. I mean, you're an awesome Beyblade, but are you that good? Probably not. You, you kind of burst at least. Yeah, guys, which one bursts more in your opinion? Uh, Hazard Kirby or, um, what's this Beyblade called? Crash Ragnarok. I feel like they're giving, like, all the old Beyblades that has have, like, uh, Beyblade since, like, the single layer days. Like, uh, what, what Beyblades have Beyblades since single layer days? We got the Valkyrie line, we got the Excalibur line, we got the Kirbyus line, we got the Ragnarok line. They kind of made them all kind of booty in the Chosey. I mean, this Excalibur, it's okay, I guess, but it's definitely not as good as it used to be. Kirbyus, booty, Ragnarok, at least can, uh, Competitive wise, Ragnarok not that good. Winning Valkyrie, the volcanic driver is just so hard to control and too crazy and runs out of stamina. All the Beyblades, we just and like the new Beyblades that they release, they make so OP. Like we got we got uh Archer Hercules super OP, we got Revive Phoenix super OP, we got Orb Ages super OP. Now there's some exceptions, such as like uh Z Achilles. I mean Z Achilles isn't bad. Also, uh Longness isn't really that good either, but Longness didn't really have a single layer, did it? Anyway, and uh another exception was be Vice Leopard. Vice Leopard's kind of a booty bay. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Who haven't we done yet? We just did these two, so we only have these three left. Let's do it against Excalibur next. All right, let's see if it can defend against Excalibur's attacks. Three, two, one, two. All right, Excalibur, destroy him. All right, there goes Excalibur. Use your, use your fifth impact. You know, I find that so confusing. It goes from like double impact. All right, that makes sense. Double impact, then triple impact. You're like, all right, so double, triple, that makes sense. And then for some reason, they don't go quadruple impact. They go fourth impact and then fifth impact. I, why? I, I don't know. Japanese people are weird sometimes. All right, three, two, one, two. Looks like it did defend well against uh, Excalibur's. Oh my gosh, I mislaunched that. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, one, two. All right, Excalibur bursted. Oh my gosh, it bursted Excalibur. This thing is OP. OP. Orb ages more like op ages because it's OP. And OP, if you sound it out, is op. I don't know, that joke made no sense. All right, moving on to the next one. Uh, let's do it against Shadow um, on Materials next. Which one goes through? Oh yeah, and the new prize day, or like the online prize day, Shining on Materials. Oh my gosh, I I can't wait for that. I really want to buy it, but it's so expensive online right now. It's like going for like $500, and I really want to win it, and I tried to win it, but I just don't have any luck, and I didn't win the Beyblade. Also, I just realized that, remember the last online prize? Um, uh, Ori Chow come. They had Shadow Ori Chow come, and that's why we got a Shadow on Materios. Was your mind just blown? My mind was just blown. All right, let's do uh, another battle between these two. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. All right, there we go. Attack it. Yeah, solid attack by uh, Shadow on Materios. Is it gonna win? Probably not. Cause Shadow on Materios. 
not a very good Beyblade. It's, I mean, it's a decent Beyblade. I just think it's so round. And for an attack type, being round is not good. Maybe for, definitely for a stamina defense type, being round is really good. But for an attack type, you kind of want to have like a lot of edges so you can burst your ba opponent or like get a lot of smash attacks or like just stuff like that. Anyway, moving on to the last Beyblade, the latest Beyblade to be released. We have Geist Fafner. Let's see how it does against Geist Fafner. I feel like Geist Fafner is probably going to win this one. Three, two, one, go. All right, there's Geist Fafner. Three, two, one, go. All right, and there is Lord Ages. Who is going to win this battle? Also, I put the proof frame on Geist Fafner. Just because the proof frame just makes Geist Fafner so much better. Just like the life after death is like insane. I mean, not insanely better, but it's definitely better than not having the proof frame. I actually really like the proof frame. It's probably one of my favorite frames. Bump and proof, I think, are like the most competitive frames just for life after death and weight wise. Um, I feel like Geist Fafner won that one. Barely, just like by a little bit. All right, we're gonna do one more battle between these two. Three, two, three. Actually, I'm gonna hand spin this one just for just for disrespect purposes. Am I right? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh! Look at that thing, steel spin. It's beautiful. All right. I mean, I know I said uh, left spin Beyblades can all left spin Beyblades can steel spin. Like uh, Longest can steel spin. Uh, Salamander can steel spin. But the fasteners just do it the best because of the shape and the rubber. All right. So the winner is Geist. Faster. And yeah, I mean, I know I said that left spins can steal spin, like all left spins can steal spin from right spin Beyblades. It's, and I said, you don't need rubber for it, but rubber just helps in the process. So uh, yeah, let me just do a quick overview. Basically, Orb Ages defeated every single Beyblade besides Geist, Fafner, Salamander, and Archer, Hercules, I think. And yeah, remember, Rick, come subscribe. That was my whole entire video about Orb Ages versus all the Chosy days. Uh, this is a really long video. It's like 20 minutes long and my throat hurts. So I'm going to go drink some water and take a nap because it's like 12 o'clock and I have school tomorrow. So yeah, remember, Rick, come subscribe. See you guys later. Have a nice day. Left first out.